the A's come into this series having won their last three straight. If they don't win tonight, St. Louis clinches that. You're the A's. You've won three series in a row. You lost game one of this series. So if you lose this, there goes that series win streak. You want to try and keep that alive. And a win tonight has to happen. J.P. Sears going for Oakland. He was so good. Six and a third no hit innings against the Texas Rangers last time until they finally got a single. They took him out of the game. Sears one and one with a 5-1-7 ERA set to oppose the righty Lance Lynn. Brendan Donovan leading off a left-handed hitter. Lefty on lefty. Short left field. Her knee is going out from short. Daryl is there and the A's shortstop makes the play and that's the way our ball game begins. 183 for Goldschmidt. And he did homer against Sears when J.P. faced the Cardinals in St. Louis a year ago. Here's the 0-2 pitch on the way. Goldschmidt, it's a fly ball right field. Playable. Butler in about a step and a half. He's there to make the catch and quickly two away and that'll bring up Wilson Contreras. Sears third base side. J.P. fires in a breaky ball. Check swing bouncer right on the bag at first in Noda and that is a 1-2-3 top of the first for Sears with the A's coming up in the bottom half. Lance Lynn who is back in a Cardinals uniform still yet to record a win for St. Louis since the 2017 season but I mentioned before he doesn't have a win or a loss yet because he's not getting run support in any of his starts. Pitched well though last time out against the Phillies five frames one hit two runs neither of them were earned although he did walk forward strikeout six. Here's a ball chopped past the mound up the middle of the infield fielded by Wynn quick throw got him Wynn had to go about 10 feet to the first base side of second to throw out Abraham Toro. So here's Geloff at 212. The pitch. There's a drive, and that's hit well to center field. Siani moves back. He has room out there. That's Death Valley in this park. And the center fielder makes the catch. Geloff is out number two. Two away, and that'll bring up Lede. Lede reaches for a pitch, pops it up. Foul territory, a play for Wilson Contreras. Playing the spin, he backpedals and makes the catch. Lede fouls out. One, two, three, go the A's. After one and a half, still nothing, nothing. So here's Nevin. 240 since uh, joining the ball club, a couple of RBIs. Now a ground ball up the middle. Mason Wynn dives, gets to his feet, gun to first, and gets away from Paul Goldschmidt. The fact that the ball comes out of his hand with this kind of heat, I mean, that that's 95 miles an hour plus. That's going to go as a knock and an E6. A defense that has been very good early this year for the Cardinals betrayed them here in the second. So Nevin's in scoring position. Here's Butler, a left-handed hitter, and the pitch to Lawrence has hit well. This is deep to left center. Siani on his horse from center at the track and Newt Bar from left just to the right of the 362 mark halfway on the track he makes the catch so the outfielders busy getting their running in and that's out number two and Nevin back to second. Cal McCann up ground ball up the middle it's a base hit around third comes Nevin and the A's strike first in game two. Things happening fast and furious. And Kyle McCann with his second major league hit, his second RBI, right up the spine of the diamond. And the A's have the early lead. And after two, in game two of the series, it's the Athletics one and the Cardinals nothing. Back-to-back -back walks to start top of the third inning. And Sears is not a guy that typically walks a lot of batter. But he does have eight walks to seven strikeouts now. 2-1, nobody out, and here comes Mike Ciani. There's a bunt attempt down the third baseline, and the play is going to be to first base. Wide throw, is he on the bag? Yes, he is. Chris Guccione eyeballing the left foot of the first baseman, Noda, and a sacrifice, and that's the third sacrifice for Michael Ciani, advancing two runners in the scoring position. And there we go with a sacrifice bunt to give Donovan a chance to drive in the Cardinals' first run. And the pitch is hit sharply to third. That's going to score a run. The play is at first base. A low throw from Toro dug out by Noda. And Donovan hit that ball sharply, bobbled for a moment, and Mason wins able to score. And we are tied at one. Team high, 10 RBIs now for Donovan. So a 1-1 game with a runner at second base. And here's Goldschmidt. He tipped it, but it was held on to by the catcher. Oh, no. I think it's going to be catcher's interference. Catcher's interference. It is. How about that? Even better. Even better. I'll take that. It's called by our home plate umpire, Ryan Additon, and he was pointing to first base. Two on, two outs for Contreras. JP trying to limit the damage in a 1-1 game. Fastball swing and a miss. Dialed it up at 94 and blew it by Contreras. And that ends the inning. One run still without a hit. Two men are left. Heading to the bottom of the fourth inning of a 1-1 game at the Coliseum. Now Seth, fly ball to left his first time up. St. Louis is that shot down the left field line. That's going to get all the way to the bullpen. And Brown will go into second base with a one-out double. 
Nobody home down the third baseline here for Seth Brown. Catches it off the cap. You can see the cue shot starting to masse its way down the line. Now Tyler Nevin tried to untie this game. He had an infield hit. 3-2 delivery comes in, and it swung on and missed. He strikes out Tyler Nevin. That's two out, the man on second base. And Nevin down on strikes. And that's the first K of the night for Lynn in this 1-1 game. Now Lawrence Butler. Swinging a pop-up towards left field. Long way to run for Newt Barr. And he makes the play in fair territory right on the left field line. And he went a long way to get that ball to retire Butler. Halfway through our ball game tonight after four and a half. The A's and the Cardinals in a 1-1 tie. Kyle McCann leads off for the A's. 3-2. High fly ball. Right field, Jordan Walker moves back, and the ball is gone! Kyle McCann says, I'm not done, and gets his first home run as a big leaguer. How's that for making the most out of your opportunity, your first start of the series? I've had limited at-bats since making the club out of spring training. You can see he's energized in that dugout. He have a big spark to the A's. They lead two to one. So the Athletics jump in front on McCann's home run, and after five, the A's lead the Cardinals two to one. A left-hander is throwing in the bullpen for Oakland right now, backing up Jimenez, who has given up a hit and two walks. Win is on a five-game hitting streak, no home runs, and five RBIs. A swing and a high fly ball left center field. Under it, Blade, the center fielder, tagging Arenado. Here comes the throw all the way through. Arenado scores standing. The other runners move up. Oh, my goodness, what a mistake for Oakland. A big-time mistake. Blade threw it home, and the first baseman, Noda, was not standing in the middle of the field. He had assumed Blade would throw that into second base. There was no cutoff, man. So when the ball came into the middle infield, there was no Oakland A within 20 feet of it, and the ball just trickled home with both runners advancing. That was a huge mistake for Oakland. Infield in for Jordan Walker, who's walked and flied out. But now the Cardinals have second and third in a tie game, one out. Here's Walker. He sends one deep to right center field. And on the run, it's the right fielder, Butler, making the catch. The runners tag and advance, and the Cardinals lead 3-2. Jordan Walker drove that one for a sacrifice fly, his second of the season, and that gives Walker four runs batted in. And the fundamental mistake made by Oakland has cost them a run in this inning. It was not an error, but it might as well have been. Redbirds leading as we go to the bottom of the seventh inning, 3-2. Lawrence Butler, a pair of flyouts to left. Lance Lynn, 85 pitches, just going right after these guys and getting tested early. Victor Dunn! and makes a great play. That saves at least one base. Welcome to the game, Victor Scott the second. And he certainly uh, purposed that play as he laid out, as he's done several times, and he takes a hit away from Lawrence Butler. One pitch, one out, nicely done. Ryan Helsley is coming on. The A's come up in the ninth inning with the Cardinals leading by a slim run, 3-2. Butler hit a ball to the warning track in left center. The new bar caught. Victor Scott the second had just come into the game for defensive purposes, and a diving catch took a hit away from Butler in the seventh. The A's are down to their last out with the Cardinals leading 3-2. Helsley seals the deal. The Cardinals have beaten the A's 3-2, your final score. Helsley saves the game for Lance Lynn. The Cardinals win the series by taking the first two games in Oakland.